Today I'm going to show you how to make this very cool glow-in-the-dark ghost tree. Perfect for a bedside table or for Halloween decoration. Let's get started. Now what I'll be using to make the ghosts for this ghost tree is this Sculpey glow-in-the-dark clay. And this really does glow. I actually tried it for myself yesterday. Within five seconds under my lamp, it started glowing in my hand. So I can't wait to use it. I've never used glow-in-the-dark clay before. First thing I'll be making will be my ghosts. And as you can see, I only cut off one piece of this clay. This actually comes in four segments and I only used one piece to make all four of my ghosts. Because these are going to be very small ghosts. It's a very tiny tree. So I'll show you how to make one ghost. I have each of these pieces roll into a ball. Next thing I'll do is I'll just flatten this on my foil. And the reason I have foil down here is because after this I'll be baking them on the foil. Now what I'll do is I'll kind of shape it in my hand so the top of it is rounded and the bottom of it I'm going to pinch to the side so it kind of has that little ghost look. So it kind of looks like this. And you can make you know each one different. They don't have to look exactly the same. Now to make the eyes on the ghost, I'll be using this toothpick. And all I'll do is I'll press the toothpick into one side of the clay and I'll go all the way through, twisting as I go. All the way through. And then the hole at the back is not flat, so I'll just flatten it a little bit with my finger. And what you can do is on the other side, make another eye. You can put them close together, you can make it a one-eyed ghost, whatever you like. The next thing I'll be making will be the mouth. So you can see my ghost has two eyes. For the mouth, I'll put the toothpick underneath both eyes like this, and I'll push it through again. But this time, to make kind of an open-looking mouth, I'll drag my toothpick a little bit to the bottom so that it looks like the mouth is open and the ghost is howling. So now that the ghost has his eyes and mouth, the last thing you want to do is take a little eye pin, and this is what an eye pin looks like. These are used for keychains and things like that, and I find them at the craft store. And you just slide it in the top of the ghost's head like this, and press it down. And you can actually bake the ghost like this with the eye pin in. And this is just so that he'll be able to hang on the tree. Now for this ghost, I left it more oval shape, and I already added the eyes in the mouth. And what I'll do with this one is take the toothpick and make kind of a rounded bottom. I'll take the toothpick and push it upwards like this and I'll do the same thing on this side. I'll just push in two times with the middle of my toothpick like this and then I'll just flatten it. And then I can also, you know, pull it to the side if I like, but just for a different look. So now I have this ghost and this ghost, two different looking ghosts. Now for my final ghost, I made a more rounded mouth and instead of hanging him right side up, what I'm going to do is just put the eye pin in the bottom so the ghost will be hanging upside down from the tree. So I'll just slide it in here and now this ghost will hang like this. Now that all four of my ghosts are ready, I'll be putting them in the oven to bake. These ones you want to bake a little bit less because glow-in-the-dark clay has a tendency to burn. Either that or you can tent them, which is kind of cover them with a piece of foil while you're baking them. But I'm going to bake mine for about 10 minutes at 275 degrees. If you're a child, please ask the grown-up for help with this part. Now before I bake my ghosts, I'll make the base of my tree. And here I have a piece of black polymer clay. And I'll just place it on my mat and flatten the bottom of it and kind of shape it into a, kind of like a volcano. Make it look like a little volcano. And press all around the edges. This doesn't have to be neat. This is just to put the trunk of your tree in so that it will actually stand up. Now that the base is the shape I wanted, I'll be using this glue stick to make a hole in the base and that will be where the trunk will go. So just press down with your glue stick, twisting as you go so it's a little bit bigger than the glue stick, and then take it out because you will not bake it with the glue stick in. Now for the trunk, I'll be using this piece of wood and I think this is a wooden dowel that I found at the hobby store. They sell these in packs of different sizes, but you could also use a pencil, like this Halloween pencil, and just cut a piece of it off and you could stand that in there. Just remember not to bake the base with your trunk in. So now that everything is ready, I'll be baking them. I'll be baking my base for about 20 minutes and my ghosts I'll only bake for 10 minutes. So I'll take the ghosts out first. And what I'll be doing is just covering my ghosts like this so that they don't burn in the oven. Now that my base is nice and hard, I'll just be squeezing some hot glue into here and then adding my trunk. Just press your trunk down into there. Next, I'll be working on the branches. Now, for the branches of my tree, I'll be using this 22-gauge artistic wire. But if you have pipe cleaners, 
then you can use those two. Now I'm going to cut two pieces of wire about 12 inches in length from my wire and what I'll do is I'll try to straighten it a little bit in my hand and the first thing I'll do is I'll wrap it around the bottom of the tree where my first branches will go. So I'll hold it with the back of my finger and just twist it tightly around the wood. Twist it. I'm going to twist it about three times. And if it decides to slip up and down, I'll just add a little glue so it stays where I want it to. Now this is what it looks like so far. So what I'll do with this is decide how long I want the branch to be. And I mean the ghost is not very big, so what I'll do is I'll actually cut off some of this and then I'll use something to make the tip of it round. And you could also use a pencil for this. All you do is you take the edge of your wire and you twist it around the pencil so you have a nice little hook to it. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Just take my pencil and twist the wire around it until I have a little bit of a hook, a little curve in it that the ghost can actually hang from. And as you see, this wire is sliding up and down, so I will add, actually add some glue to the back of it. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of glue where the wire is, just to make sure that it actually stays in place. I'll use this little toothpick just to rub the glue and flatten it a little bit. Rub the glue in. Now while the glue is hardening and cooling down, I'll work on my second branch. So now I've finished my second branch and what I'll do is I'll just twist it sideways like this. So from the top it looks kind of like an X. And then I'll add a little bit of glue behind this one. Now while the glue hardens on that, I'll just make sure that all my little branches are twisted upwards like this so that when I slide the ghost on, the ghost won't fall off. Like this. So now I'm ready to add my ghost to my trees, but before I do that, I wanted to show you something. With the extra clay I had, I made this ghost that glows in the dark, and what I did was I put it on this elastic string, and I just hung it around my neck. And this is perfect for like Halloween night instead of using a glow necklace, so just an idea. Now I'm about to have my ghost from the tree, but I wanted to show you something first. This little spider on the front, I actually made with this glow-in-the-dark 3D paint. So that's just another idea of how you could decorate the base of the tree. And now it's time to hang the ghost on the tree. Now what you can do with this is put it next to your child's bed, and when they're reading their book at night, the ghost will charge under their lamp, and then when you turn off the light, all you'll see are the ghosts hanging in the dark. I mean, it's the coolest thing ever. I really hope you guys try it out. And please subscribe to my channel. I have more fun videos for you guys to watch and I'll be posting another one very soon. Don't forget to post in the comments. Let me know if you make this, how it turns out. And please don't forget to make your very own glow-in-the-dark necklace. This is perfect for Halloween. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween.